Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. If you missed my previous What I Eat In A Days, I will link them down below. But basically, I am just trying to lose some weight and I'm not following any particular diet. I don't um, have any real restrictions. I'm just an overeater trying to teach themselves not to overeat. And the idea of an actual kind of like formalized diet with rules and whatnot does not appeal to me and it's not something that I can maintain in the long term because once that diet ends then I still don't know any better. So that's just kind of my approach um, and I thought that maybe that may be helpful to other people. And I also just feel like I cook some yummy food and I wanna show you what that is. But I've really been enjoying this series. I know they're one of my favorite videos to watch. Just something about like watching what other people eat I find is so interesting so at the very least maybe this will entertain you but let's go ahead and get started it's time for breakfast this morning i'm having one of the kind of two ingredient greek yogurt bagels i've mentioned these before but i'll link the blog post down below that i use to make them i hate baking and i find it easy i'm sorry if my countertop looks dirty it partially is dirty and it's partially the curse of black countertops but anyways um i just freeze mine i make four at a time and i freeze them and they're even better after you toast it it's just greek yogurt and self-rising flour, or if you don't have self-rising flour like myself, just put in some baking powder and salt. But 150 calories of bagel, 10 grams of protein, and a little bit less carbs than are normally in a bagel, because those can be quite dense. So I toasted it, got a fried egg here, strawberries, and an espresso with some almond milk, nothing new there. And then I'm having jalapeno cream cheese. Normally I'm a vegetable cream cheese kind of gal, but I've been into jalapeno. And I want to mention, I'll have a food scale linked down below, by the way. Um, but I weigh my cream cheese. I know, it, like, to me, before I really got into, like, weighing food, it seemed really obsessive to me. But now that I'm doing it, I'm kind of like, it makes complete sense. Because when a brand says, oh, use a tablespoon of this, you know, are they using a baking tablespoon? Are you using a heaping tablespoon that you would, like, eat off of? It's just a little bit dangerous, especially when it comes to things that can be higher in fat, like peanut butter or cream cheese or something, for example. So says there's 177 grams in this container so what I'll do I'm kind of I didn't break out my tripod for this this morning because I just didn't feel like it but um I know that a serving is about 16 grams so I'll be able to scoop out I can't do it right now with one hand but I'll scoop out enough so that it equals 16 grams to put on my bagel so I mean everybody has different ways of doing things for me measuring things just gives me peace of mind because I don't want to follow any particular diet that restricts what I can eat I just want to eat what I want to eat but in moderation and in a way that is not going to make me gain and hopefully actually lose weight so um let me just uh, cream cheese this. So it is now time for lunch. I was able to avoid snacking this morning because I went to the mall for a few hours. Now I'm back. So I'm gonna have a salad. I have already kind of prepared part of it. So in my meal prep, I just chopped up, uh, I didn't actually chop it up. I have spinach and butter lettuce in here, a mixture of the two. I don't love when a salad is like just spinach i like to have a combination and i find that lasts in the fridge okay for a couple days for the first four days or so uh then i'm gonna put in a little bit of this dressing that i made super simple oil free it's a tablespoon of maple syrup a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and what's the third thing oh grainy mustard obviously that's very clear to tell so then i'm gonna add some cucumbers and the most delicious part of this is nectarines. I haven't eaten nectarines in a while. I'm a fruit on salad kind of person. I know people are kind of split on that, so let me know what you think. So those elements I don't really need to um, measure because it's just like lettuce and stuff, and I know the dressing is about 30 calories a serving. What I did measure, however, are the raisins and the goat cheese because those can get a little bit overboard. Like this is near 100 calories of raisins. This is about um, about 70 calories of goat cheese. So that can go um, overboard pretty quickly. And then I'm also having chicken. I meal prepped this. It's just chicken thighs coated in garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika that we barbecued. And those are just heating up in the oven. So I'm just gonna add the raisins. A dried cranberry would be great here too. A nut would be really good in this as well. I don't find this salad or this whole meal actually incredibly filling, but it is really delicious. And I, I had this yesterday too, and I'm adding a little bit more goat cheese than I did just to kind of up the fat of it because this has, you know, not really any carbs in it. And I think my body's kind of like where where the carbs at. So gonna just add a little bit more goat cheese and then I'll, I have room then later for a bit of a bigger snack 
um, in the mid afternoon. So let me just grab the chicken. So as I mentioned, I'm having chicken thighs. I heated them up in the oven. I'm eating mine on the side, but you could just as easily put it in the salad. Just kind of personal preference for me. I've been doing chicken thighs a lot lately over chicken breast because chicken breast can get quite dry. And as long as you're using boneless, skinless chicken breasts, there are sorry chicken thighs. There's really not that hot. Uh, that high of a fat content in there and to me it's just so much more delicious especially when you're barbecuing and then leaving in the fridge and then reheating chicken breast can get quite dry so um, this is my lunch I meant to mention as well um, I'm gonna have water with lunch but when I went to the mall I took this with me to have as a snack I didn't end up eating it. it's just a fruit to go like 50 calories but it's just kind of like a little something and I also took water this is something I'm starting to do I mean drinking water is it, it's a given and everybody talks about it but this was something that I never really did before so I wanted to mention it if I'm going out for like a couple hours I'll just take my little book bag and bring water with me so I ended up drinking this entire bottle of water and I think it's good to like stay hydrated and you know you can be thirsty and it might feel like hunger and then you could end up overeating so I never really took water with me when I went places and I will almost never buy a bottle of water when I'm out unless I'm like on vacation and it's like a million degrees outside. So um, yeah, that's something I've started doing and it may be something you wanna keep in mind as well. I'm gonna, I am gonna—I already had a Coke Zero earlier. And then I'm having some of these crackers. These are my favorite, the um, Good Thins rice crackers you get for 90 calories, you get quite a few. Having the jalapeno cream cheese that I showed you earlier. I also like to have Baby Bell or Laughing Cow, but I've been really into the jalapeno cream cheese some grapes, and then some salami. So this is my favorite kind of little snack. It's a little bit higher calorie, but because my lunch was lower calorie um, and didn't fill me up as much, that I'm gonna have something a little bit um, heavier now, and I kind of like that. So I'm gonna have this now from a snack. Okay, so it's dinner time now. I'm gonna be having some curry. I've showed this curry in another meal prep, which I will list down below. Um, it's just kind of like a pre-made curry and I didn't put any meat in it this time. I have paneer cheese if you're familiar with it. It's an Indian cheese I believe. It's a little bit, it's pretty mild but you can like grill it. You can kind of do whatever you want. So I put that in it. It doesn't melt like a typical cheese. And on the bottom of this curry I put a bunch of fresh spinach. So when I microwave it it's all going to kind of melt down. I'm going to microwave it in a bowl. I try not to eat out of this, these containers. We're trying to find some good glass ones. And then I bought this. I haven't tried it before. It's this uh, clay oven tandoori naan bread. And naan bread is so good, but I find the kind that you can get in like the bakery section of a of a grocery store is basically just like pita and it's never any good. So this is frozen. So I have a piece in the oven right now and hopefully um, it will be as delicious as it looks. And I'm skipping putting rice in this curry so that I can then um, kind of afford to have the tandoori naan. So I'm just going to heat this all up. Okay, so here is my curry. Sorry, it's a little shadowy, but it's kind of laid out. Um, in the curry, I use the butter chicken one and I just have mushrooms, onions, zucchini, and broccoli and pineapple. I know pineapple seems weird. And the spinach. And this here alone is only about 200 calories because it's basically just... The lighting is so bad. It's basically just vegetables and I bulked it up with the vegetables because I'm not putting in meat. And then I put in a little of the paneer. And this... Oh my god highly recommend this i got this from the from walmart grocery delivery oh thanks both and it seems like exactly like non you'd get at a restaurant they their suggested serving is brushing it with butter which i obviously want to do but i'm not gonna do and i think it's gonna be so good and i think i got there's like five in a package for probably like three or four dollars anyways very excited about this okay so for my final snack meal dessert i've been making this lately and loving it it's kind of like a brownie sundae i guess so i'm using a fiber one brownie i'm going to cut it up and microwave it for like 20 seconds i'm going to put some of these strawberries in there and then cool whey ice cream and it all comes out to be like under 150 calories and it's delightful okay so i just microwaved the brownies now i'm going to add in strawberries and I've talked about this cool way ice cream before. I really like it. The chocolate is my favorite. And I'm using so little of it and it's already quite low calorie. And I, I forgot to mention earlier, I had some um, frozen blueberries too. Just kind of defrosted. It's something my boyfriend eats all the time and I've kind of gotten into it recently. Um, but we split some frozen blueberries earlier. So I'm filming. Do you need to flush the toilet? So here is the final product. And I highly recommend you um, try this out. Even just putting strawberries in your ice cream is good, but having that little brownie element is a delish. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. Let me know if you would like to see more, and if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.